Hey everyone, this is Jeremiah Cordova Tordex. I'm here to give you a sneak peek at Tordex's up and coming Linux offering, Terizon, which is still early in development. I hope you like it. Starting off here, you can see something you may already be familiar with Tordex Easy Installer. But did you know that toggling the feeds option up here, you can enable our continuous integration server feed? which at the moment is the easiest way to get up and running with Terizon. All the images from our CI server will be available to you. You'll want to scroll down to the bottom to get the latest and greatest Terizon image. Here I'll go ahead and install the Terizon image with the Docker container engine runtime. Once installation is done, you can give the device a quick reboot to go ahead and get started with Terizon. Now that we have Terizon installed, let's try a quick example with containers. With this command, we will download and run a container that will set up a Debian-based environment. Now that we have the container up and running, you can execute commands like you'd expect in Debian. For instance, using its powerful and useful package manager. For now, let's try to use its package manager to quickly set up a Qt for Python script. To begin our Qt for Python script, you'll need to install the following packages using apt-get. Now that you have those prerequisite packages set up, you'll want to create a Python script with the following content. Now that you've made that Python script, you'll want to go ahead and set up some Qt environment variables. And then finally, you'll want to execute the Python script. Now on our device display, you can see the results of our Qt for Python script. As you can see, we were able to quickly install and try out something using Terizon containers. I hope you like what you saw of Terizon today. For more information about it, you can visit this website at labs.tordex.com, where you can also see information on our other up-and-coming projects. Thank you.